Hello, my dear friends. This is Cross Stitch with Luda. Today is Sunday morning, <laughs> February 10th, and um, you're still sleeping. <laughs> I think by the time you will wake up, you will see that video. I don't know when I will upload it, but um, I'm having my coffee, <laughs> my morning coffee, my first cup. Actually, this cup I've got in uh, Frankfurt and Main in Germany. I was flying from United States. I was in Las Vegas. We lived at the time in Las Vegas, and uh, I had to go to Ukraine to get my son. And uh, I always wanted to go to San Francisco, and I tell my husband that I would like to go there if we will have a chance. And believe me or no, uh, uh, but um, when we get to the airport, no, I got to the airport. Yes, with my husband. My husband had to go to work. So he could not help me with all this registration and everything. And I did everything by myself. And when I came to the counter, to, res to the res registration desk, they told me I don't have ticket. <laughs> so after long conversation with them, they saw my ticket, but they couldn't understand uh, why all these complications going on. And uh, they gave me first class ticket and we have to stop in uh, San Francisco just for one hour or so. And then I had to go to Germany and from Germany to Ukraine. But our plane was broken <laughs> on the way. I don't know what's happened to the plane, but they gave us one day uh, free stay in a hotel in uh, San Francisco. So my dream came true. <laughs> I could see um, San Francisco and enjoy my time there. I was so happy. But I was scared to go to a second plane because I don't know what's happened to our old plane. So I was happy with that mistake or whatever happened. <laughs> so today I would like to show you my whips. I'm stitching now and I will stitch in uh, January. And in my next video, I will tell you all the stories I will stitch with you. And we will talk more about um, random stuff, uh, what is going on with me, my life updates and, and other stuff. Currently, I'm stitching uh, Dimensions Kit. And I don't have much time. I have like two hours maximum. Sometimes I come in the evening, uh, I come home in the evening and I don't have power to stitch. So I like stitch one or two hours and all day I'm busy with uh, school, with uh, my husband business, with um, my own stuff, my uh, health and everything. So I don't have time to stitch during daytime. Maybe sometimes I'll stitch in the morning. But uh, soon I will be more free. I'll stitch more. I hope. <laughs> so this is uh, Winter Memories by Dimensions Gold Collection. It's a big uh, kit. I cut the preview so I can see everything. And not to have many things to carry in my luggage because I was carrying this in my <laughs> carry on <laughs> and this is what I've done so far this is very easy um, design but sometimes you have to change your thread often and uh, this design stitched on 14th count uh, Aida I'm happy with the result because there will, there will be lots of back stitching as you can see and I think there will be other stitches and backstitch. I like their pine trees. They look gorgeous. And I love, of course, this is real <laughs> sunset. Oh, this is morning. I don't know. Maybe sunrise. Anyway, I still have lots of things to stitch. I'm actually recording... <laughs> At the window, I don't have other place because our buildings are old and windows are so high. So, uh, an apartment is very dark. And I wanted to show you everything in daylights. Again, because it's 14th Aida, makes design much easier to come. Ok, 
Okay, this was my current whip. The reason I did not take it out of hoops because I I plan to stitch it now till the point when I'll get bored or I would decide to stitch something else. And this is thread organizer. There are actually two thread organizers. Lots of lots of threads because there will be tons of half stitch and um, they're done like with four plies or six plies of thread. So that's why it's so much. Next is my shepherd's push. And I don't know what to say about this design. If you will if you look at the preview, you will see sheep are bright and they're white actually, and the grass is green. Mine is different. And I'm thinking to, to change color of these ships. Please let me know what to do because I I was teaching, I was not happy, I was not satisfied with uh, how to show you. I need to put something under because when it's when you can see through you will see colors wrong. The ships. Yeah, this is the whole ship, but it doesn't look like on preview. Look how bright. Maybe they edit the picture, and the grass seems like much brighter. And look, second part, it, it, it's right. It's fine. I'm happy with. I could not do any mistakes because they don't have other color as this one. I check it hundred times. And I've done shepherd's bush before, I know their system, I know how they organize threads. So I don't know, maybe because of hand dyed thread, or maybe maybe it is like this, but uh, I would really like ships be more white. I don't know, please let me know what to do with this design. Should I replace with just DMC B5200, or should I leave it? as it is, because then you put something under and maybe it will look more antique. Maybe from far you can see them differently. I don't know. I love this design so, so much, but I want it to be 100% right. Because I did not see that design. No, I did see. I did see one woman was stitching under the retreat in Las Vegas, but she replaced fabric. She used something. Um, she she was stitching on uh, more fine fabric. This one you can see through, but she chose something like uh, maybe picture this plus or something like that. I don't know. So anyway. Let me know. I will wait your comments. And here you are, guys. Let me show you. This thread you stitch ships with, and this one you stitch your grass with. But sometimes it's so white, it's not really green. And as you can see, if there is no other green, this one is too dark, obviously. And this one so little, so it could not be this one because um, there were like four, four threads for the grass. I mean, I've used all. You see, this is left over. There is no other green here. And this one, I'm stitching the second part. So this is little, too little to complete the whole grass. I could not be mistaken. Anyway, I'm not that disappointed. I'm just thinking if I do right or I do wrong, or should, should it be like this or no? But I still love this design and I'm planning to complete it now after I, I will be done with my dimensions kit. It will be my second whip 
to finish because I'm almost more than a half done. It's easy to stitch, it's going really fast. Okay, my next design is Zelda by Mirabilia. And I thought I will be focused on her <laughs> most of the time, but I don't know, I think I'm, I got tired from this border or because of our moves and everything. But I'll be stitching her definitely. She she will be my focus. Uh, we for March and February. Depends how much time I will have to stitch her or how she'll go, I don't know. But uh, I'm happy with the fabric choice I made. But whatever I saw, her stitch on. I like every single <laughs> fabric <laughs> for her and sometimes I doubt myself but I, I think I did right. I like it my mine as, as much as others. I don't know if you can hear music <laughs> on the background but this is not my music this is <clears throat> from the store because we live above the store. And on top of us, we have a small child who is running like an elephant without its child. We think it's uh, her grandma running after her because once I came, I thought they have like two boys there living because they sound like really strong. <laughs> and I thought maybe Daniel can play with them. But she opened the door, the grandmother, and it was like one and a half year old uh, girl. <laughs> So this is my Zelda. I really can't wait to see her stitched. The fabric seems like very really stiff. I ironed it before. And it's I, I like the way it uh, after the iron sometimes linen is so hard to press but this one is perfect gorgeous happy next one was my mermaid I did not work on her since I showed you last time mermaid of the pearls this is out of print chart from Mirabilia MD number 26 And if you will compare with my hand, she's quite big, especially her tail. Sometimes it was bored to stitch, but but she's fun over here, and I think she will be even more fun on top. Again, <clears throat> I don't think I will take something different to stitch because my pack of organizers are busy with this design, so I'll, I'll be working on them. Maybe I will add something else from my previous starts. For those who are new on my channel, I I do my videos, I make my videos in English and Russian. And sometimes I will show you detailed video. <coughs> And sometimes I will show you all my whips. I like this way because if you searching for a particular design, you can see detailed video and you can listen more about this particular design or other one. Lots of clinic. Beautiful. Again, go back if you're interested about this design. There are video about Zelda, about this mermaid, about other designs you see in this video. This is just a review of my whips. Whip review. So I won't stop on every single one and show you all the details and tell you and show you all the threads and beads and granic because Sometimes this video 
you watch it uh, to inspire yourself and sometimes you watch this kind of videos because you're looking for some particular uh, design and uh, want to hear an advice or you have some issues next one is sampler and this is sampler cough let me find my preview where i put it on it's here <coughs> You've seen it before. Unfortunately, you can't see clear what will be. <laughs> it's like a mystery. But I've seen this design stitched by my friend. She actually inspired me a lot for this design. And she helped me to find Madeira silk, silks for this sampler again you can choose other threads you can choose other colors for this design depends what you like depends what is matching your house or maybe you want to complete some wall sampler wall and you have let's say everything in blue or in red or in other colors and i think it's so much fun to stitch this kind of designs and I'm looking forward to work more with the Sampler Cove designs because they are gorgeous. I've seen some of them and um, I love them. Also, it's so easy to stitch and it's going so fast. I mean, if I would stitch as I used to stitch before, I would complete one page in two days, maybe three days. And there are six pages, so in two weeks you can have the Sampler. I don't have to spend few months like I spent on my dimensions kits. Let me show you closer. Sometimes I miss one, one or two crosses and my subscribers telling me <laughs> you miss a cross over here or over there. And one day I remember me and, and my friends uh, we were in a cross stitch retreat in Las Vegas and uh, I just recorded a video about my winter quaker from Rosewood Manor and I miss there one cross. So imagine I have all sampler completed and it was with me because I brought it to show for the retreat. And here we sit in three of us, <laughs> Alessia, Lena and I am stitching and I've got this comment before you, when you get a comment you will see it on your screen right now. I have to go look for the comments manually. And um, so three of us, we tried to see where is the missing cross we couldn't find. <laughs> then I came home and I like spent some time just to find this one cross I was missing. Luckily, um, I did not frame that piece. Imagine if she would tell me when I framed that piece. but. When I show my work like this, I hope you check it carefully. <laughs> and if I do mistake, you're gonna tell me. It's not happened often, but just funny. Sometimes people see this kind of stuff where, I don't know, when I see projects close closer, I don't really see if all crosses on the same place i just enjoy i just enjoy seeing crosses yes this sampler won't be that big i thought it would be much bigger this is page number two and almost page number oh sorry this is six page and this is fourth page i think yeah, because here one two three four five six yes this is page number six oh. this is page number six and this is almost finished page number four so that won't be that big sampler but still i enjoy it so so much and it's gorgeous Now I want to show you small purchases, small, because I bought them just before I left Buffalo. This is 
this is just NAN samplers. So I first saw my, uh, not my, a sampler from just NAN about three and a half years ago. And I like it, but I was collecting Mirabilias and I was collecting Dimensions kit. I could not like buy everything, I like slowly, slowly was buying them. But these two samplers I was happy to purchase just before we left States. Spring in the air. And uh, this is very good chart, I mean good quality chart with uh, additional embellishments with a charm and some beads so the charm placed here and some beads all over the sampler I know these pins you will be stitching or one over one or two over one but all designs from Justin and they are fun to stitch they are bright, they are different and they're very unique. Next one is Wildflower Wish, also with a heart angel. This is quite small design. I think I'll stitch it in a few days, but um, still I like it so, so much. As you can see here, some Algerian outlets and other stitches and an angel in the middle also I've got a couple of charts from Mirabilia a rose celebration she's beautiful she's uh, one of the oldest designs by Nora Corbett and um, Unfortunately, I don't, sti I don't see her stitched often and I don't understand why. Look at her dress, look at her rings over her head. Gorgeous. I like older Mirabilia so, so much. Same like I like new ones, but older they're like more vintage to me. And this one is kind of new. She was uh, published for the Mirabilia 25 years. That's crazy how long because Nora spoiled us with her beautiful designs. <laughs> and I hope at least another 50 years <laughs> we will be getting every month new Mirabilia. Beautiful. Um, there is a charm inside the chart. That's why it um, fixed from both sides. I'm not sure if I will be st stitching this chart to this design or I will do something else. For example, a flower. I don't know. This is my idea. Also, I'm not sure which kind of fabric I will choose for her. I like her on original a lot, but I'm. I'm watching now, I'm looking for maybe another repla replacement uh, fabric for her. But for now I'm just enjoying other work. That's it for today. Again, in my next video I will be stitching with you. I'll be answering your questions. I'll be telling you about my uh, life updates. I hope uh, you have a great weekend, have a very productive week, and uh, I will see you very, very soon. Also, thank you so, so much for all your likes and all your comments. I'll be looking forward to receive more of them, <laughs> but for now, bye. Cold. So cold today. <laughs> We came to Medical University of my city and guess what we are reading here? Canadian College of English Language in partnership with Zaporozhye State Medical University teaching English SMART! <laughs> SMART! SMRT! SMRT! I'm Homer Simpson. <laughs>